Hi friends. How are you? I am not sure if anyone's in yet. Sometimes switcher takes a second to load up. We're going to be making a fun sign tonight. Oh, there it goes. Yay. Looks like I'm live. Any day wants to let me in. Hey, Jen. Hi, Christina. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so I did this Facebook update. Finally, because I was able to update my iPad. And the funny thing is, all the icons are <laughs> like crazy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Christina. There it goes. Website is the pinned comment below. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay. All right. How are you guys? Sorry I did not come on last night. I had the world's worst migraine. Oh, it was horrible. Um, but as you guys are coming in, hi, Jen. As you guys are coming in, I would love it if you would share my video. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is the share button. Hi, Linda Davis Rose. So I'm going to be making a lightning quick, hi, Bonnie, lightning quick project tonight. Hi, Debbie. Um, I got this adorable little coffee cup. It's like this, it's a metal sign, right? Um, and I have been thinking, what am I going to do with it? I thought I wanted to do a shadow box, but I already did a coffee o'clock shadow box. So I didn't want to do it again, but I thought maybe another way to show, like that's the awesome, the, the versatility of chalk tours that you could do the transfers on almost anything. So hi, Terry. Um, I wanted to show how you can... Um, hi, Bobby. How you can use this transfer again on this awesome piece of wood that I got for my sister-in-law who was kind enough to stain it for me with a color that she has that I don't have. So I thought that would be fun. Um, hi, Tom. Ouch. Uh-oh. So we may... Oh, okay. I thought the video was going to go a little bit because I knocked into the wood, which caused the cell phone, <laughs> the charger to drop. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Terry. So I'm just going to cut this little tabby off. Um, so we've got that off. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about our transfers, right? So hi, Debbie. So first of all, if you have never seen Chalk Before, Chalk Couture before, you are totally in for a treat. Um, these are Chalk Couture silk screen transfers and our chalk paste. Hi, Bonnie. Um, our transfers are amazing in the fact that they are reusable over and over and over again. So um, I have... I myself have literally used this transfer, gosh, probably about seven or eight times already because I made some for other people. I made some for a craft show. Um, I made one for my house, one for my mom's house. Colleen, actually, this was her very first transfer she tried. Hi, Maria. So this transfer definitely is a well-loved transfer. Um, they are silk screen. Um adhesive back re reusable transfers which is awesome um this transfer is actually getting set to i believe retire once it's sold out i literally checked before i came live i know there are coffee o'clock transfers on the website hi maureen so hi carol so these are awesome hi ann so we're going to go ahead, hi, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create coffee o'clock. Hi, Raphael. And we're going to do it on this wood. I'm going to use a little um, nail to just hold my little coffee cup on, in place. Hi, Karen. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to do. So let's talk about the transfer, right? Now, this is one of the older transfers. On the back, it already has the word back, so there's no need for me to notate that. Typically, what you would do is you would have the back of a transfer. Oh, I don't have any ones that I have not used before. Um, but on the back of it, you would notate something to let you know which side is the back side and which is the front side. And the reason why we say that is because they are a carrier sheet, so that way you can reuse them again. Hi, Carol. Hi, Margie. So 
This, um, this transfer already has the word back on it, so I don't need to write on it. Um, this one also is our older carrier sheets, so they're kind of hard to peel on and off, but good thing is I have used this one before, so it's not super difficult. Um, we don't create the ones that have this clear plastic anymore. Thank goodness they were a little difficult, not going to lie. We have the paper ones now. Hi, Amy. Hi, Carol. So um, I'm going to show you what you always want to make sure you're doing is you always want to make sure you're taking your carrier sheet from your transfer, not your transfer off the carrier sheet. The reason why I say that is because these are a silkscreen material. So they can stretch, they can rip. You just have to be careful with them. And um, when you take the transfer from the carrier sheet, you're less likely to stretch the transfer. Because if you stretch the transfer, you're going to distort it. Because we don't want anything to mess up the silk screen area. Hopefully, whoa, static. Hopefully where I'm pulling, wow, where I'm showing this in the video, you are able to see the silk screen area. It should get foggy and then not. Hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy <laughs> doing that. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Deb. So guys, as you're coming in, I would love it if you'd share my video. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. Please share. I would love it. So they are also sticky. So as you can see, this is not coming off my hand. It's a sticky transfer, which means it's going to stay in place when we put it down, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want this to go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push it down. I want to make sure there are no air bubbles in the... Um, silk screen area itself. Now I see quite a few in coffee. I see quite a few over there. So I'm just going to use, this is our squeegee. This is a small squeegee. This is our angled squeegee. And our small squeegee, I pretty much like to cut them in half to make different sizes. I also like to cut them in thirds. So that way I have little guys as well. So, um, yeah, we have multiple size squeegees. We actually even have a, a four inch handled squeegee. I don't typically care for that one, to be honest with you. I just, I don't know. I just don't, I can't seem to use it right. <laughs> I just can't get the right pressure. So I just stick with the small squeegee and the angled squeegee, but the other squeegees might work perfect for you. So I made sure I don't have any air bubbles. It looks pretty good to me. Um, hi, Angie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jen. Um, thanks for joining, guys. As you're coming in, I'd love it if you'd share the video. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. Please share. Um, so this is our chalk piece. Now, this color is super well-loved. I love Caribbean. So I'm at the bottom of the barrel of this guy. But if you watch my lives, you know I've been saying that for a while. So even though I'm at the bottom of the barrel, I still got more than enough to do this transfer, okay? And I'll probably still have some extra. So all I want to do is I just want to get it all stirred up, okay? Because I added a little water to get it to be not as hard. So I'm going to do one more spray, and then I'm going to get it to the nice yogurt-like consistency, which is what we want to work with, okay? You will also notice that I am using a plastic stir. I am not using a wooden stir. Hi, Jen. Not using a wooden stir because we found out that the wooden stirs actually take the moisture out of the chalk paste. So don't use a popsicle stick. Stay away from them. If you don't have plastic makeup stirs, use a butter knife, a plastic butter knife. Um, or even a, the plastic spoon, use the opposite end, not the spoon part, um, and stir your chalk paste up because we don't want it to dry out, right? Hi, April. Um, so I am ready to go. I am only using just the Caribbean on it because I think the Caribbean is going to look really good next to this super cute little coffee cup um, metal accent that I found. And like I said, I'm just going to add it to my board by just putting a little nail on. Um, I'm not going to do it live. I will spare you guys. Um, me being horrible with a nail <laughs> because uh, we all know or if you watch me you know I'm pretty much accident prone I flicked my nail off the other day oh it hurt so bad hi Kyle so yeah so Jess stays away from doing things in front of people because um, I will only look even more <laughs> foolish and I'll probably hurt myself and you guys all need to see that so hello 
All right, so let's do this. It's going to be super quick. Where do you see the magic of Chalk Couture if you've never seen it before? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out a nice amount of chalk paste. Now, it doesn't matter if I have too much because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be scooping it back into my container. So I'm going to get my squeegee and I'm going to pull it all over the silk screen area. It doesn't have to go over the entire transfer. All we care about is where there is a silk screen at, where the silk screen is open, right? So I'm trying to actually reach over my project here. So hopefully I'm not missing any areas. I can't really see the top. Short arms. Okay. Making sure I'm spreading out my chalk paste. Scooping off the excess. Taking the excess that I find and moving it around and putting it in the other areas that I need some chalk paste. Okay, and I need a little bit more. And I still have chalk paste left in my container, which is awesome. I can't tell if there's any, oh, oh, there is an opening. Whoops, and I went off the board, and I'm going to show you how we're going to correct that. No big deal. No big deal. I think that is everything. Now, once I have all the chalk paste on, all I'm going to do is come over and I'm going to lift it up and we're going to pull it up to reveal the gorgeous, the gorgeous design it makes. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Vicki. You better stop. I know, Debbie. Oh, I mean, I know, Vicki. I know. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Jesse. So we've got our It's Coffee O'Clock on here. Now, like I said, I went off a few spots here. Um, off my transfer. I'm not worried because all I'm going to do is get a little bit of over and take the chalk paste right off. See? How cool is that? Isn't that awesome? And look how gorgeous it looks. Oh, I love it. I'm like totally looking at it in the the mirror the or the video because um, I have my iPad set up on my new little uh, add-on. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'll have to show you guys my new add-on, which I love to my Archon stand. Um, it like holds my iPad up. It's it's perfect. Like no more having to fumble for my iPad. It's right at eye level. It's right next to me. Hi, Kim. So didn't that turn out super cute? So let's go ahead and hit this with some heat so that way I am not putting my hands all in it. I'm pretty good at doing that. Oh, I love that color on this color wood. Kyle, what color stain is this? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Dan. Hi, Stacy. Okay, I think we're nice and dry. Now, I'm going to show you the beauty of our chalk paste. So, like I said, it's a paste. It goes on wet. It's not a paint. It goes on wet. It dries hard. And when it's all dry, you can rub your hands. Now, I see that it's still wet there, so I'm not even going to bother doing that. But look at all the other spots where it's dry. I'm rubbing my hands all over it, and nobody is... Um, no pieces are coming off. None of the chalk paste is coming off. Dark walnut stain. Okay, cool. Good to know. I really like the dark walnut stain. Hi, Luann. So that is the awesome, hi, that is my awesome, quick, super fast project for tonight. All I'll do is, like I said, you know what, just for video sake, so you guys can see, actually, no, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to ruin the board. I was going to say I'll, I'll add a thumbtack um, to show you guys, but isn't that awesome? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I am so happy with it. It turned out adorable. See? All right, here, let me show you guys real quick my new, um, let's take the charger off. See my new stand? How it hooks onto my, it's on my camera base. Look at that. Isn't it so awesome? I love it. And then my iPad is right here. Fantastic. Love it. I love it. And then I can see everything that's going on. Okay, so here's the project again. Here's a closer look of the, it's coffee o'clock with Caribbean. It is still, um, like I said, 
um, available. It's on the going to retire list. So once it's sold out, it's sold out. So if you don't have it, grab it. You can get it right in my online store. It's HTTPS. Oh wait, it's the pin post. <laughs> and it's in the top of this video. Um, and if you are interested, thanks Kyle. Hi, da hi Danielle. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Maria. If you are interested in joining my team, all you need to do is click join, put type join down below, and I'll happily add you to my VIP group so you can hear all, I'm, I'm sorry, my opportunity group so you can hear all about joining Chalk Tour. If you're interested in becoming a customer of mine, um, comment me down below and I will add you into my VIP group. And I apologize, it is not open for other designers. It's strictly a customer group. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. As you're coming in new, I'd still love you to share my video. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is the share button. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this lightning quick project that I created tonight. I love it. I cannot wait to get it hung up in my kitchen. It's going to be a super awesome add-on. Um, especially this little piece. Gosh, it matches so well. So um, I hope you guys have a good night. Hi, Nicole. And I will be back tomorrow to show you a small haul that is coming from Chocotour of the new products. Hooray! Okay, guys. Bye!